I don't have some weird surface level crush on anybody. I freaking love Rodolphus. I don't know why I start, started liking Rodolphus. I actually, one of my fan fictions that I've written is about him. Actually, a lot of have him in them, but it started as a one shot and then I became obsessed with him. And now every story I write, I'm like, can I please have Rodolphus in it? Loki obsessed with Rodolphus. I love him probably because of, I loved him before Cursed Child, but after Cursed Child, I was like more obsessed with him than ever. Cause after I read that book, I was like, oh my goodness. <sighs> like, I know his wife is like shady and obsessed with the Dark Lord and all these things and Yahoo, she's obsessed with the Dark Lord. But um, while she was the most faithful to the Dark Lord, she was unfaithful to her husband. And I, I am, like a hardcore family person and that just doesn't that doesn't jive with me I don't like that at all and I know that pure blood families with their like strong beliefs and like continuing pure blood lines and stuff it had to be difficult for Rodolphus as the older brother to see his wife go through that and I don't know what went down between the two of them that she never gave him an heir apparently although like they never talk about it but I yeah we really don't think there was ever an heir there and we know she was able to have kids because she had Delphi unless there's some shenanigans went down but yeah I and I mean my head canon is Rudolphus was either involved with the Dark Lord <laughs> that sounds so weird. Can we not? Um, no, nasty fan fictions. Um, what I meant was Rodolphus was a Death Eater, possibly before Bellatrix, and so that connection brought Bellatrix in because she was very interested. And so, if Rodolphus was like a couple of years older, he would have been already out of school or even like maybe up, up more into his twenties, and able to bring her to the Dark Lord or. Bellatrix was so obsessed with the Dark Lord that she would not have anything to do with Rodolphus unless he joined her in serving the Dark Lord. And so with them as a husband and wife team, it's so interesting, the relationship between the two of them and then like the Dark Lord sort of deal thrown in. It's just really interesting. <sighs> <laughs> And like, that's what I'm saying with my uh, absolute obsession with Rodolphus. It's like hardly anybody in the Harry Potter community knows who he is. Like, how are you going to deal with somebody's obsession when you don't even know who the person is or you've not even discovered their character? Honestly, we don't actually know anything about him pretty much from canon whatsoever. It's all these things that we've learned that or pieces of the puzzle that we've put together from just seeing certain parts and realizing, oh, Bellatrix must have, you know, been this way with the Dark Lord. And we think, my friend and I, think that Bellatrix would have been pregnant with Delphi when Rodolphus came back from Azkaban the second time after he was sent back to Azkaban after the Battle of the Department of the Mysteries. Why is this? Well, I don't know why this has become a Harry Potter video, but yay. Talk about me not being a Harry Potter tuber. Blah, blah, blah. Words. I can't even. <sighs> but anyway, with him knowing all of her shenanigans and coming back from Azkaban and finding his wife pregnant with the Dark Lord's child. And I'm not sure if Rodolphus would have known the Dark Lord wasn't pure blood, but OMG, can you imagine if he knew and he was like, um, you wouldn't even give me a kid? Like, what on the earth? He would not be as chill as that. Like, no, straight out of Azkaban, like, what the? <gasps> yeah. Insane amount of rage. I love the power play between the two of them. It's just, <sighs> but yes, I'm on Rodolphus' side. Team Rodolphus, because he, he must have gone through so much in all of the years that they were together. We don't even know when they got married, but <sighs> I can just imagine how much he put Bellatrix through 
just from him wanting an heir to continue his family and all the things and like I don't even know but in all that he he did he kind of had a choice to put up with it and he kind of didn't so he was a death eater obviously uh you don't exactly tell the dark lord not to mess around with your wife when he's like you know you're a dark lord so um that's kind of a touchy situation so the only person that Rodolphus could really take his anger out on would have been Bellatrix because nobody else would have known except Narcissa and if she was pregnant with a dark lord's kid that's kind of difficult because we don't want to make the dark lord mad so I have great honor for Rodolphus, first of all, in not, like, I mean, it's probably like a, a purebred family pride sort of thing where he did not um, leave Bellatrix. He didn't, like, discount her. But he couldn't because of the secret. Can't think, man. Um, because of Delphi, he could not tell anybody. And he could have chosen to try to destroy the child, but then he probably would have been killed. He could have chosen to, like, I mean, if he'd chosen to leave, he probably would have been hunted down and killed. So I have great honor for Rodolphus. And, I mean, he, he probably felt he had to do what he did, but in the end of Cursed Child, he... I don't know. I mean, he must have escaped Azkaban again after the Battle of Hogwarts because he came back and told Delphi the prophecy and who she was. And that started the whole stupid cursed child thing with her, like, trying to bring her father back. But uh, I, yes, I honor Rudolphus. He is my favorite. Oh, my goodness. 